Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload images to ChatGPT directly using ChatGPT plugins. Right, so now with the introduction of ChatGPT plugins, you can also upload images to ChatGPT. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. There are some limitations you need to keep in mind. So for instance, you cannot really ask ChatGPT what is on this image. If you want to interact with the image, not just edit and crop the image, I have another tutorial that I will also link it in the description below on how to use ChatGPT with image input, which is basically another language model you can use. And as you can see on this video, I asked this model what is on this image and the model is able to describe what is on this image. So if you want to use the content of an image to get responses from ChatGPT, currently you cannot do that, but there are some other workarounds for that. So make sure to check out this video if you're interested in that. But using plugins, you can also upload images to ChatGPT and resize the image crop the image, blur the image and other applications as well. So how to do it? So first you have to make sure that you are a ChatGPT Plus subscriber because we have to use plugins to be able to upload images to ChatGPT. And if you are a Plus subscriber, make sure that you also enable plugins in your account and select GPT-4, then select plugins. And we have to install the image editor ChatGPT plugin. As you can see, you can use this plugin to edit images, resize, crop, blur and many more embedded features. If you do not see the plugins in the installed list, click on scroll down and click on plugin store and install the plugin. And once the plugin is, is installed, you also have to activate the plugin by clicking on the checkbox next to the name of the plugin. So the plugin is enabled. If you want to get some more use cases and prompts, you can use this plugin with. On my website, rihex.com, I have a full tutorial on this plugin where I talk about some of the best use cases and the best prompts you can use this plugin with. So you can check out the URL in the description below. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. But now let's see an example on how to use the image editor ChatGPT plugin to upload images to ChatGPT. If you want to upload images, you have to get the URL of that image. So currently you cannot upload images directly from your computer, but if you have a public image anywhere in the internet, you can upload that image to ChatGPT. And all you have to do is find the image, right click on that image and click on copy image address, and you will get the URL of that image. Then you can add a prompt this is the prompt I have added. If you want more example prompts, as I mentioned, you can check out the link in the description below. And as you can see, we can ask ChatGPT to first upload the image and then resize this image for a website banner. This is the URL we're going to use. So I have added the URL of the image and I also specify the width of the image, which should be 1200 pixels. And I also asked ChatGPT to maintain the aspect ratio of the image. So I do not know what the height should be, but it should figure out based on the width to maintain the aspect ratio, what the height should be. Then you can click on generate. And of course I made a mistake because this is the GPT 3.5 model. So we have to click on new chat and make sure GPT-4 is selected. And then we have to select plugins and then make sure that the plugin is enabled. And now we can add the same prompt again. And now it should be able to execute this prompt. So click on send message here. And ChatGPT is clever enough to know that if the plugin is enabled, that it has to use the image editor ChatGPT plugin to upload and resize the image. So as you can see, now it's resizing the image. First, it has, as you can see here, it has uploaded the image using this URL. Then using information from our ChatGPT prompt, it is able to do what it has to do. So as you can see, use the image URL parameter and image URL and expose the image to a user as clickable and also add clickable link to image. So when user clicks on image, can open a new tab, add a text with link, and it also used the image editor to make the necessary changes in the image. So as you can see, the process is done. Here is your resized image. Uh, we can also open the image in a new tab and the image has been resized to width of 1200 pixels by maintaining the aspect ratio, making it suitable for a user as a website banner. So all in all, this is how to upload and edit images inside ChatGPT using the image editor ChatGPT plugin. 
If you want to learn more about other use cases of this image editor ChatGPT plugin, make sure to check out my YouTube channel where you can find a ton of ChatGPT plugins tutorials as well.